Hi everyone, uh, I wanted to make a quick video today just talking about how I got started on Upwork um, and how you can start to build your profile. So um, why don't we just go and I'll, I'll go and view my profile here and uh, I can show you guys um, where I'm currently standing. So this is um, this is me now. I've, I've gotten top rated plus. Um, I have 30,000 uh, earnings on here. The, all my all my money I've made from the past year has been um, on this on this uh, platform. Let me lower this video so there's a little bit. So um, you can see here I have my my video, um, all my information here. I have some um, really good reviews from what you can see are very small projects that I started out with. Um, so this was twenty five dollars, thirty five dollars. $50 and these projects um, so this is I mean this is kind of the core of this video is that what I what I started doing is um, I was working on on projects for a very small amounts of money um, like I spent probably on this $50 project I think I spent eight hours on it or something um, you know, uh, and, and, and similarly for all these other ones, they were it took hours and hours it took. Um, I made, you know, somewhere between like $1 per hour to like maybe five, five or $10 per hour for these first few projects. But what was great was that I got these great reviews and you know, all I, I just did that, I did them for a fixed price and I totally over delivered. And um, what happened was I was able to just build up my Upwork profile and um, uh, yeah, please excuse the noise outside. I'm down here in downtown New Orleans. Um, but yeah, basically I, 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 I put all my education, I got my profile really filled out so it looks professional. Um, I made a portfolio site using WordPress um, and I have all my projects listed on here. Um, you wanna like have a basic a basic portfolio uh, mine is like it's got some fancy animations and stuff but you just want to keep it really super basic um, I know this might not be super basic for you um, depending on your, your level of skills but um, but but you want to just like have something that looks professional I just used a template I used a template for um, from I used WordPress and uh, something called Starter Templates, a plugin. It gives you like a list of templates, and I just filled in the images and the words and stuff from people. Um, and we have like this page here. Um, I have my projects page, which is the the um, other important part. Um, so I mean, having this portfolio, um, have an about page, and also I have um, a blog. Uh, so. When I've, I've listened to Dane Miller, and um, you can see this is the about page is very, very short. Just a little description just to fill out the site. So um, listening to this, uh, this uh, web developer, his name is Dane Miller, he says, um, you know, create two blog posts per month, um, which I was doing for a while. Just, do, you know, just keep it simple. Anything that you um, learned that month, and you can just write about it. And uh, you can see my archive. I have quite a few now. Um, some of these are just like, just some, you know, they, they range from like kind of longer articles to just some notes. Um, uh, but, but yeah, so you, you want to have like home about projects, contact on your, on your site. And then, um, when you have your, your basic portfolio, you can have, you can put, uh, some of the projects you've worked on in here. Um, and if you don't have any projects yet, then just go and, and work on some some projects that you can be able to show off and, and show that you know some stuff. Um, but basically you just want to have a few things in here. You know, people might not look at it that hard when they're actually trying to hire you. They might, um, you know, they, they might be busy. They might be looking at other stuff more importantly, like how much you're charging. You know, if you're charging really low and it's a, lo a very low risk for them, like maybe they'll just take you on, especially if you're a new person. And um, but it's great if you have some great projects and you, and you want to get those in there and, and show the people that you, you kind of know what you're doing. Um, you can get like some people uh, that you've worked with to write you a testimonial on Upwork. That, that works if they have a, a, um, 
um, they just need a LinkedIn profile and you can, you're, you're able to send them a link to, for them to do that. You can, you can write down here some other stuff. You know, this is like a certification that I just wrote myself, which is it's something that I actually did. It was a course that I did, but um, you can add those. You can get your employment history. I mean, you can, you can just put all this stuff in here. It makes your profile look professional. But the main idea is that like when I started, um, it started very low. Um, I mean, I was happy making any money doing this. I, I would have done these things probably for free just to get the reviews, but it was great. Um, being able to get some good reviews. I mean, I would have paid to do these projects and, and been able to get the reviews, but, but you can see like I started out with just 10, 20, $30 projects. Then I started on some a little more expensive ones. And then after this $185 one, that's when I got my first real um, job, which was um, WordPress junior developer here. You know, and now you can see I, I started at 35 an hour for that uh, organization and um, made, made over 17 grand with them in the past uh, six, six to eight months. And then after that, I, I started um, with my next uh, client here. Um, after a couple months, the work slowed down a little bit here. I started making more applications, and of course, then I had I had over ten grand on my profile, and it was a lot easier to get that next full time job, which is now paying me forty eight an hour. So, um, uh, yeah, I mean, I I just want you guys to know that um, it, it's uh, start, yeah, I mean, I said it. A couple of times already just start out small build a profile um, build some projects and get like really tiny jobs and it will just help you to get forward more and you can just keep building on it and you keep adding 1% every day and you keep getting better and eventually you just get to a point where you know you're valuable enough to be hired for a lot of money and it's awesome and um, at working as a contractor on Upwork I don't have a physical location I, I've been traveling um, all over the country a little bit kind of I mean I've, I've lived in Seattle I live in Portland now I live in New Orleans and I'm able to work from home just because of uh, this setup so another thing I want to share with you is that um, some of these resources that I use to, to, to build my profile so you can see you can see my profile here uh, a very long description it's just um, it's not too you know I'm using a lot of paragraph spacing here so not to, to make big walls of text I mean, it is a wall, but it's it's spaced out with like these fun emojis, um, which were, you know, I got this idea from somebody who I'll show you soon. Um, I got a, a review from someone down here. Um, I basically just watched the YouTube video and copied everything that he did and, and, and modified it for myself. And uh, I recorded a little video here. We got like a, you know, Hi, just a short Omar. one minute video. Just be really, really, really happy, happy and positive and, and talk about what you, um, what you've, you know, talk about yourself, talk about your skills, why you're doing this, whatever. Um, and that will, you know, help people put a face to the name and uh, it will make them feel more comfortable working with you. So, um, yeah, if we go on to YouTube over here, uh, I, uh, I don't know exactly what it's called, but I'm sure I can find it just by searching Upwork, how, how to write, to create uh, Upwork profile. I think I'd actually showed in a different result up there. So oh, th this is the guy right here. Yeah, Josh Burns. Um, so I think this is what I started with him on. Uh, th this is the, it's called the complete Upwork tutorial for beginners. So it actually. And uh, I will link that in the description unless I forget, but um, otherwise you can find it by searching here. So, I mean, in this video, he's got it all broken down into sections here and you can, um, you can just go and watch. I mean, what is this, an hour long video? You can skip through it like I did. I didn't even read the whole, watch the whole full thing, but I skipped through it. And you can see here, you know, this is where I got the idea from. He's got a big old profile um, talking about all everything that he's done here. So um, yeah, go, go ahead and, and read about what he's doing and he'll tell you all about all these little things on Upwork, how to, how to search for jobs, how to write a proposal. Um, I guess the last thing we can leave off with is that uh, I, I create a custom um, proposal for every client. I don't copy paste. Uh, 
you know, I, I have the same idea. Uh, it's the same kind of stuff that I'm saying every time, but I, I write like, maybe we can go, maybe we can go take a look at, at some of the ones that I've done. Um, proposals, I think we should be able to find some here. Um, why don't we just take a look at one of these these ones that are, I think I, I can't even view the ones that are not active anymore, but. Um, so here, here's an example of, of one of the, my proposals here. Um, so here, here's where I, I started out. Um, Hi, my name is Omar. I, I, I talk about my skills related to the project. I talk about what I've done, talk about some impressive stuff. Um, I also usually would, would link uh, my, my portfolio, uh, some, a couple of the blog posts that I've done, or uh, uh, maybe one link to one blog post in these, in these Upwork proposals, and then like a link to a couple of projects that you've done, or, or one project that you've done, or a website that's similar, or related at least, or, um, or something, you know, just show, show, the, show them that you can do something. Um, and uh, you want to go ahead and just send out a ton of proposals. Um, you know, when I was listening to Dane Miller, he said, uh, you know, you want to send out 50 or 100 custom proposals before you start expecting to be able to get any responses. So, so go ahead and try that out, and uh, hopefully that will that will work for you. And and um, you know, if you, if you want me to help to give any advice, please leave a comment, and I will I will do it. I I will I will help you as much as I can. Um, but yeah, I mean, it wasn't too long ago and I, I was just coming, I had been in school, um, never had, had worked in this field before and, um, I studied for, for two years on my own and in class and, and eventually I was able, able to just get this, this job. So it's possible and, um, and it's a great field to be in and there's a lot of, you know, you're learning all the time, you're getting smarter all the time, there's more op opportunity all the time. So. Um, I hope this helps you and uh, good luck to you and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.